I would always stand at the tunnel before games, just wanting to fist bump the players. Every time we go on the ice, she's out on the tunnel, and she's right there putting her fist out. I went to so many games where they would start recognizing my face and then asking, hey, what's your name? And I was like, oh, I'm Layla Anderson. And it's a name the Blues would not soon forget. But two years ago, superfan Layla Anderson's glowing smile and charismatic energy were being overshadowed by a mysterious illness. She would go through what we would call spells. She would get a headache, she would start throwing up, and then she couldn't speak or walk. And she would look off to the side and just mum, 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 struggle to say mom. My dad actually was driving me to school and I got out of the car and I just completely like fell on the ground. Rushed to the emergency room, doctors initially struggled to diagnose Layla's condition. But further testing revealed a rare genetic mutation causing an immune system disorder known as HLH. Layla's case was unusual. She had neurologic manifestations of HLH. There's only been about 15 patients in the whole world who have presented solely with that neurologic presentation. When somebody sits down and says, this is what your child has, she will not look like herself. She will lose her eyebrows, she will lose her eyelashes. It is gonna be tough. She's gonna be sick, but this is the answer. I didn't really know what was ahead. I was just told it's gonna be rough, but I was prepared to do whatever they told me I had to do. Chemotherapy was necessary. A bone marrow transplant this January followed, requiring isolation at St. Louis Children's Hospital. But as Layla was beginning the fight of her life, her beloved blues were beginning their resurgence out of last place. She said, Mommy, have you noticed when I went into the hospital, everything turned around? I said, well, you're getting a new life, and it's almost like these boys have a new life. And as they kept winning and winning, there was just this parallel between the team and Layla. The St. Louis community and the team rallied around their new good luck charm. Blues defenseman Colton Pareko made several visits to Layla at the hospital and instantly hit it off with his new best friend. Whenever you see her, she always has the biggest smile and always never ceases to amaze me because I can only imagine what she's going through. I felt like I was close enough to Colton. I pulled off my hat for him to show him I didn't have hair. And he just looked at me and said, you're still beautiful and it really meant a lot. Four months of isolation at home followed. And while the Blues were making a memorable run through the Stanley Cup playoffs, somebody special was noticeably absent from Enterprise Center. My neighbor asked uh, if I wanted to take Layla to a game. And I thought, I just wonder if there's any way we could do this. I talked to Dr. Benarski, and guess where you get to go first? Where? Take a guess. Is it a Blues game? <laughs> Mom, are you kidding me? No. <laughs> to hear I can go to a blues game and it was, it just felt like I was going right back to my home. So great to see 11 year old Layla Anderson at the game tonight. She's special to all of us. What's going on? <laughs> She's taught me a lot of life lessons outside of hockey. We're excited to see her get better and obviously see her at more of the games. And now, as Layla's favorite team battles for hockey's ultimate prize, there is a fighting spirit she hopes will inspire her boys in blue. Hey, look how far I have come. You guys never gave up on me, and I am not giving up on you guys. Let's go! <laughs>